This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at simple tricks and pithy tips in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create an audio submix track in Premiere and explain why we use it. Submixes are created inside Premiere because you want to process multiple clips from multiple tracks as though they were a single clip on a single track. Let me illustrate. Here, for instance, let's pretend I've got these four clips. And let's pretend that this one is speaker one and this one is speaker two. And let's pretend they're both men. They don't have to be. One could be a man and a woman. The gender makes no difference. But we're going to pretend that they're both male. Maybe on this track I'll have the female uh, narrator and the, the female guests. But the key point here is that I've got the audio spread across more than one track. Before I do anything else, the first thing I do is go up to the sequence menu, go down to add tracks, and I'm going to add one submix track. And click OK. So I now have A1, which is a dialogue track, A2, which is a dialogue track, and A3, which is a submix track. A submix is like a bus. It picks up people from multiple locations and delivers them to the same location. But you can't work with this in the timeline. You work with it in the mixer. And not just any mixer. You don't use the clip mixer. You use the audio track mixer. When you first look at the audio track mixer, if you've never used Audition, you look at this and say, this is way too complex. My life is too short. I don't need to learn this. And that's a true statement. If you're not doing your audio mixes, then you don't have to worry about this at all. And there's a point where I will move my audio out of Premiere into Audition because Audition just gives me a whole lot more tools than I have inside Premiere. But there's still benefit here. I'm going to twirl down this itty bitty little arrow up here, and this opens up where I can add effects and where I can set sends. I want to send this entire track to Submix 1. I want to send this entire track to Submix 1. So now when I play this sequence, but, uh, I can't tell you notice there's Dr. Surf on track who, 1. Uh, were and we see him show up on the submix because the audio and from not just the first and track goes into the submix. And, so and now, and in fact, some this is the games, second. Uh, I remember playing and notice it also that, goes that to the submix. Uh, well, what I want to do to make the sound really good is I want to go up to the um, filter in EQ and I want to add a little bit of parametric equalizer to add some bass to the voice or add some treble to improve the diction. But more importantly, I want to add the multiband compressor. Double click this to display the actual interface. Set this to broadcast. Set the margin to negative four. And now when I play this back. Problems that you had to solve, it made you think logically. But for the most I'm part, have, video games I'm are amplifying. Important. All the audio on the first track and all the audio on the second track, I'm adding the same parametric equalization, shaping the sound the same way, adding the same multiband compressor, improving the gain the same way by only applying it to this one track, the submix track, which then dumps out to the master track. The ability to use submix is to gather audio from multiple tracks put it all into a single track so I can apply one filter to everything on that track, simplifies mixing because it allows me to emphasize just those clips that I want to have that particular effect added to without having to do it on a clip-by-clip -clip basis, which is just too time-consuming. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at simple tricks and pithy tips in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 213. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth, and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. 
Our training covers both Adobe and Apple software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.